Good morning. Hello again. Welcome to Sandwiches and Stations 2023. I'm back. Again. As you can see behind us, there's no station. However, as you can hear by the train that's just going past, that was perfectly timed, thank you so much whatever train that is. You can tell that the station is just off to that side. So I'm going to pan around now, because uh, I wanted to keep the secret for as long as I can. Welcome to... That's an incredibly long, long train. That better not have been a freight train that we missed. Welcome to Morpeth! Morpeth! We're gonna go inside and we're gonna... The main thing that it. you can't tell, this is not Morpeth as there is no sign here. Oh yeah, here. there's no, there's no, well there's no sign but it says m m uh, We're at Mies. <laughs> we're at Mies. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go into Morpeth, we're no, gonna have a little explore. Look. We're at town, town centre. We're at town centre. We're at town centre. Town centre. We're gonna go into Morpeth and we are going to have a little explore. That's probably how we'll start today. Platform. Oh, it's lift review time. It's just, it's just metal centers, Northern. Yeah, I'm, I can. I, yeah. Opening. Lift going down. Lift going down. We're going to get in the lift. Doors closing. Doors closing. This is your lift review, everyone. There's a camera up there. It can fit 16 people. Um, I don't believe them anymore because of a lift I was in last time, which got about 20 people in. It was. It also says a. <laughs> There's also a QR code there. We don't know what that does. Anyway, we're back. We're back down where we just were. So yeah, this is Morpeth. Um, I've only been to Morpeth once before this, and it was to try out Lumo. We're gonna go to platform one, uh, and then we're going to. I'm gonna Google some facts about Morpeth. I'm gonna have a little fun quiz. I think we'll we'll play the chase. That sounds like a good idea. What is this? So in perfect in perfect timing fashion. The approaching train is not scheduled to stop at this station. The approach we're on platform one, yeah. We are on platform one. Yes. The approaching train is not scheduled. It's not scheduled to stop yet. It's the next zero one, look. It is the next zero one. Can't go on the other side now. You want to go on the other side? No, we're not. We could. I don't think we'll make it. What time is this you leave? 10.38, what one now? We are on. There's no clock around here at all. 10.39. 10.39, so it's late, so it's going to leave straight away. Um, there you go. So, Morpeth is obviously served by four different train operators. Five. Northern. Five. Northern. Just say, before we go any further, what a cracking whistle that was. Let's hear that again. Five. Northern. Five. Northern. Lumo. LNER. LNER. Cross country. TBE cross country. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, it used to be served by... No, it didn't. I was going to say it used to be served by ScotRail, but I don't think it was. Because no. that service came along the Tyne Valley from Glasgow. Yeah, it did. So... Uh, Morpeth? Uh, yes, we're in Morpeth. Lumo train just leaving there. It's the net zero liveried one, which is very nice. Um, wow. It does look really nice, doesn't it? Blue is the new green. Blue is the new green, everyone. That is busy. So, uh, yeah. Let's go and share some facts. Work scheduled for the area. No full day or planned weekend improvements work scheduled for this area. Do you want to go and share a fact about the um, yes the bus stop? Let's go. We'll do this now. Stop. We'll get it done and out of the way. There's a taxi coming, so we're going to wait for the taxi. To leave, I think. Actually, no. We'll we'll just share the fact. So no, 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 no. share us the fact. So this timetable, if you can read it, it's was wrong. last updated in April of 2022. 2020. Yeah. Allegedly served by the Arriva 2 service and the Arriva 43 service and also the Morpeth Town services which are served by Rural Link. Unfortunately, this is fake and out of date as I do not ever remember the 43 ever coming this way. 
It, it says stops. it only ever came here hourly, but there was no evidence that it ever did. It stops outside, doesn't it? Yeah. I've just noticed, you know that taxi office over there? Yes. Do you reckon that's an old railway thing? It does, doesn't it? Let's go and investigate. When's the next train? Carlisle. It should be the train that was coming down there. Yeah, I think we'll go and have a little, we'll have a little wander around. Ah, it's an LNER, it's an LNER train coming. So, here's Morpeth bus station. That's Ooh. Morpeth rail station. S so, an interesting fact here. Go on then. An old independent company by Henry Cooper Coaches used to own a Volvo B7RLE but recently gave it a Green Mountain Travel. They did. Now, luckily, that. the 436 at corner bus time still stops here. So there's a high chance it'll either be the ADL Enviro 200 MMC that they own. Or it could be the Henry Cooper Volvo B7 RLE Brake Eclipse 2. It's the treatment tree. It's... Why is it holding a trans on the front? Because they're not needed. I didn't even realise they were allowed to use the old trans trains at the front. Yeah, the one in the northeast has been using. That's a good photo. Oh, that is a good the one in the northeast has been using the TPE 68 recently because uh, with the timetable change, they're not. Was I even marked down on real time trains? Might be the one to Miller Hill. No, because Miller Hill's that way. I don't know. So, according okay. to most times, the 436 is due at 11.36. Which is... I don't have me watch on. It's 10.46 currently. I really hope it's the, it's the Henry Cooper bus. It'd be lovely to get a shot of it here. Yeah. Plus, you can get your first photo of it as well. I mean, it's not Henry Cooper anymore, it's Green Mountain Travel. It's still Henry Cooper livery, unless they've... No, nah, it's still not Henry Cooper livery, it's just... Oh, they've done this, they've just... Uh, they might have secretly it. repainted. Right, so... 436. Where will it be now? Yeah, 1137's the first one due here. Right, let's go, let's, right, let's go and do some facts. So, Morpeth is... Yeah, I was just about to mention that. <laughs> I have got multiple stones in multiple shoes. It's, it's a bit of a rocky platform, if I'm honest. It is, like... Um, the other one... Same really. Uh, it's not really like properly tarmacked over, lots of stones and being picked up and stuff. It's still a good station though. It is still I a like good station. I like the design of the... Oh yeah, I do need to get a nice nice shot of that, that would be nice. So, um, yeah. Did, did did the reveal take you by surprise? Were you expecting more of this? Um, I know because originally, if a Mr. Adam Coyne is watching, he wanted us to do payload. It could be really funny if at the end of the video I did just get the Metro to payload and just did a little bit there. Uh, just for. Dunbar. 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 So yeah, I could do a little bit at Peel or Metro for the for the laughs. That could be that could be the New Year's edition. Uh, I'm joking. It's not going to be a New Year's edition. It's a Christmas thing. Adam, you're not getting what you requested. You're not. You're not getting Peel or Metro. The idea that we had originally was going to be two stations. If G and E weren't on strike, that was going to be. Prada and Wylam. Yeah, because we were going to go down Wylam that has a very nice station design, and Prada we've always wanted to take a photo of a bus there. Time but only ten. A B. Yes. A, no, A goes to Rockwood Hill. B goes to Prada. B goes to Prada. But unfortunately, going off east to strike. I'm, I'm looking at this map. I'm looking at this map. Let's have a look at this map because you know what's going to be on here. You know what's going to be on here. You know mm -hmm. what's going to be on here. The view of the lean sideline. Hewith's not mentioned. Hewith wasn't a station at that point. It was just Felon and Pilo. Hewith is inferior to Felon and Pilo.
<laughs> so this is the North Fineside Steam Railway, which is part of the Stevenson's Railway Museum. If you have a look, I probably shouldn't have went to me then. Look what it says. Two Morpeth. If that line stayed open, we could have got a train from Percy, Maine to Morpeth. And if the railway line stations existed, then South Shields and Chichester. Chichester would have been named High Shield. High Shields? Are there any other different name stations? Uh, Bencham was a station. Bencham. Bannersford was a station. Killamoth was a station. Oh, we know that. Forest Hall was a station. Plessy. Plessy was one. Oh, there's the note. The Transpennine Express train, uh, ha as they say, has been vegged. Um, which is very rare because Transpennine still cannot run to a certain timetable. They are much better now that they've been taken over by the government. That was the best birthday present ever, by the way. Um, so we're going to go up to the top, we're going to do the facts, we're going to... We're going to get the sandwiches out, I know that's what you're all waiting for. Uh, why am I out of breath? <laughs> Arrival from Hexham. The next train... The next train finishes its journey here. So there's another train coming in from Hexham. Uh, so... Look at that artwork. Oh yeah, so the artwork, I did see a sign for it somewhere. It's up there. The artwork is made by a prime school. Yeah. Let's go and have a look at what the sign says. The artwork at this station has been kindly created by the pupils of Newminster Middle School in Morpeth. The project was coordinated by Sen Rogue Northern and sincerely like to thank everyone involved. So that was a nice gesture. Oh, they're, they're I love Robert. And one of the birds. We could sit there. Hmm, we could. But with it being raining, it could be wet. It looks wet. Let's go to the one at the top. It's also missing. All right. Straight, Straight on, on right. it. Yeah, that's interesting. So there's a, there's a signal in the middle of the platform for the northern trains, which cross over using that junction, to go into that southeast curve. Uh, which we'll which hopefully get a photo of. Um, I don't. Hmm, I don't know if you can. You can. You worth... can walk up to the crossing. Ah, of course. I forgot that there's a world outside of the station. Um, so, yeah, it'd be nice to get a photo up there. That line also goes to <coughs> the Blythe and Tyne line. Yes, the line that is due to be open next year. And if it goes well, we shall be doing the first day on it. Hopefully. Sandwiches and stations will be on the Blythe and Tyne next year. I've already, already sorted that. But the question is, commenters, do you want... Which station? Would you want it to be one station, or would you like it to be all of them? All the stations? Well, we could do like a like, review like, of the Blythe Like Jeff Marshall? We could do like a Blythe and Timeline review and do sandwiches and stations at the same time. Yeah. Right, let's put this here. Should be. That'll do. Might have to move back a bit, or to this side. Oh, I forgot the custard dunk. <gasps> oh, yeah. Right. It's sandwiches and facts time. The sandwich is part of sandwiches and stations. We've done the stations at sandwich time. So, uh, we've been to the, the places in Newcastle. Uh, I've been to Sainsbury's and Michael has been to Greg's. I've got myself a wonderful, wonderful egg and cress sandwich. I'm sure I had that last year. And while well, you really and care. while Ethan reviews his sandwiches, you will see me struggling to take the uh, salt out of the pot. Because some, it is... We've got some unbranded juicy water. It feels like a TV show that they pull out like some really rubbish off-brand. Where's my other thing? And I've also got... Ah, there's a train coming! Go on, go on. I've also got... Please don't. Ah. Right it is at 8 pm. Uh, I need to also look for some facts, which I'm going to do uh, now. I'm just going to bite me the sandwich because it's Greg's. Custom made Greg's for Custom you. made? Because Greg's decided to do a sandwich with 
mayo in it, and your boy Michael here does not like mayo. Uh, uh, we also want to let you know that when this video comes out, that the long awaited four month wait for the Tyneside Road Running Day came out. I really hope you all enjoyed that because. You can blame me for the reason why it took so long. But I hope you enjoyed the facts. We got quite a good review of people, didn't we? Uh, we did, yeah. We uh, even, lots of people liked it. I we even it. got we even got a like and a comment off the the Tyneside Heritage group themselves. We did. Uh, that not on not on YouTube, but I'll do. Oh, I've got a little bit of ham. Where is Wikipedia? There it is. What well, more for three of us here? So. Wikipedia, obviously not the most reliable, but it'll do. It's on the East Coast Main Line, which runs between which two cities? Go. Newcastle and Edinburgh. Close. Or London Barrow. and Edinburgh. It's 16 miles north of Newcastle and serves the historic market town of... Morpeth. Correct. Morpeth town is very authentic. It's one of the nicest towns out here in the rural parts of um in sticks um it is served by regular bus services by Arriva. um more of a green mountain travel green mountain travel as well but you can't really call them local because they only operate monday to friday no they do saturdays as well what else we got two, got two platforms two tracks it's managed by was, I also want to point out that after we've ate this sandwich, your boy Michael here can see a tamper unit in the sidings. Where? Oh, right yeah. Right there. There's a tamper unit. I can see a tamper unit. Wow. So, who knows? If we're lucky enough before the northern train turns up later, it might leave. It probably won't. Its station code is MPT. I think the northern train's coming in. Uh, DFT category E. Not a clue what that means. It opened. Leave it in the comments. It opened. On, this is the big one, on the 1st of March 1847. Wow. As part of the York, Newcastle and Berwick Railway. If we can find a photo of what Morpeth Station looked like when it first opened, we shall leave it because it definitely does not look like what it did back then. Although the roof of the building might suggest that it could be. I'll take a photo of it now and just put a black and white filter on it. The one thing that we want to mention about this station, it's a fun fact from me dad ages ago, is that him and his mate came here to see a Bendolino passing through at 11 o'clock at night. Now, the most thing about some stations is, is that they'll leave their lights on until the last service passes through. Mm -hmm. However, on that night, two seconds before the train pulled in, specifically where the 50 sign is up there, the station lights went off and turned the entire station into complete darkness. Mm -hmm. um, during January and during January, there is always a frequent rail replacement service over the weekends. And recently, there was a... Emergency. Seven, eight week... Something rail, like that. It was an eight week rail replacement due to the Plessy Viaduct. One collapsed. side of the track collapsed. Um, so, it was a eight week rail replacement between Newcastle and Morbeth. Mm -hmm. And then recently, only last week, Almouth. No, it wasn't Almouth, it was uh, Aircliff. Oh yeah, Aircliff. Aircliff decided to have a landslip at Aircliff. So, so, the weather hasn't gone too bad this year. In true fashion, we are now going to go for the uh, passenger numbers. Hooray! Hello, so, Jeff Marshall. It hasn't got the 2022-23 numbers on here, but I'm sure I can find them at some point. And also, point. we don't have a Wikipedia page in front of us. Like, we don't have paper in front of us. So, 2017 to 2018, 418,000 people used wow. the station. That's quite a lot for Mortland. It then increased in 2018 to 19 at 475,000. Um, 2019 to 2020 was 507,000, going up even further. I'm and guessing then, it decreased after that. And the, oh, massively. And then 2020 to 2021. I'm going to say it decreased and it was like 200,000. Well. Uh, 82,000 it went down to. Hello. Oh, it's a Scotland one. Eight hundred one oh four is a Scotland one. I remember that. We 
are also very disappointed is when we <laughs> on the Northern train leaving this morning, the one train we want to photograph is the LNA or Pride Azuma. And it pulled in on the platform next to us. Also, um, the train we were originally going to have left Carlisle at 8 o'clock. 8.06. 806 and was due in town for 9.57. However, it got cancelled, so we left on the very nice platform one. And as Ethan will probably put in the video at some point now, our train was banned for Sheffield. Mm -hmm. Oh, the train I'll tell you what, that's some tasty, juicy water. This is a very, very good sandwich. Who's it tasting for? What is it? What flavour? Um, raspberries and blackcurrants with other fruits. I don't like the other fruits. The other fruits could scare me. What? Well, I don't know what the other fruits are. It might tell you on the back. It's very strong. It smells of apple. There might be apple part of it. I have a little read. That is we haven't done 2021 to 2022 yet. I I'm building it up. I know what it is. All right, apple juice. So, big drum roll, please. The passenger numbers for 2021 to 2022 was, I've forgot it, <laughs> 403,000. I was going to say million, because it says 0 0.403 million, but. So, slightly increasing. Facilities. Let's have a look. That's the long one. Aberdeen to Penzance. I'm just going that way. World's longest train. Not world's longest. UK's longest train. That's also a Jeff Marshall video. Right, okay. Anyways. Um, blah, 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 blah. Facilities. It's just telling us about the history. I don't care. So. Oh. You asked me. Apparently. Services are currently operating to a reduced timetable because of the COVID pandemic. Well, oh. well, Ethan, why What's don't you ask me some questions about the station facilities and I will happily answer them. Okay, um, toilets, are there any toilets here? That is one thing I am unsure about more of. I believe <laughs> it has toilets, but I believe they're closed most of the time here. It's got lifts? Yes, it has, it has lifts. lifts, it has two. Um, the unique thing about Morpeth is, is that I am sure it is the only station that I am aware of mm -hmm. Please check below if it is That Morpeth is the only station with a subway on this part of the line Because I know that Crampton has a footbridge Almouth has a footbridge And so the other stations are probably Acklington, Pegswood, Ridgerington, Chat Hill Chat Hill doesn't have a footbridge but it doesn't have a subway so we believe Morpeth might be the only station with a subway. I'm going to back you up on that one. I don't think there is a station with a subway. Apart from this one. Well, we'll, take, well, we'll have a look. Um, no, not that it remember. has a ticket office as well. Um, seating is... So the seating, I will say, for platform... What are we on? Two? Um, yeah, because platform one's going towards Penzance. Is two always northbound? That's something I've always wondered. Is two always northbound? Drop that Well, on the metro, it isn't. Not on the metro, it, is. it isn't. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not because Platform 2 is going towards South Shields, so that's technically so. No, Platform 2 is going towards St. James's. That's all it is. <laughs> uh, what else was I going to ask? Um, are there bins blown in a breeze? There's another Jeff Marshall. Yeah, there's it's another. got a bus stop. It's got a bus stop. Yes. It is only served by a bus that runs Monday to Saturday. Saturday, and it is run every hour or two hours. I think it was every two hours. Okay. The one thing about the seating plan for Morpeth that I'm not a fan of is that platform 2, I believe, we're on? It's mm -hmm. hard to tell, but Penzance is going that way. Then, platform 1 has a very nice seating area, but platform 1 doesn't really have much seats. And it's got a few outdoor ones, and it's got like this style and a one it's further down. It's not got many up this end. They're all finished in the canopy. So it's not like the... Not like the best station to have seen that, but there's a car alarm Thank going you. off for your vehicles. So, services. We're going to do services now, cross country. Yep. Mm -hmm. They operate four trains heading north a day. That's not right. That might be out of date. Oh, yeah. I've just remembered this is heavily out of date. So, cross country run to Edinburgh, Aberdeen, Glasgow. Mm -hmm. And in south, they go to Birmingham, Plymouth, Bristol, and wherever that one's going, Penzance. Um, using Voyagers. 
LNAR, they go to Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberdeen, Inverness. Mm -hmm. Going that way, they go to Newcastle, Leeds. And here's the Penzance train. Kings Cross. Hello. They go to Newcastle, Leeds, Kings Cross, Doncaster and Peterborough. Newell, the new operator. They are on the train to Edinburgh uh, Express. And the London stopping at Newcastle and well, Stephen H. Only in the AUC 03. Uh, Northern, they run a service that terminates here and goes back to Newcastle, Hexham, Carlisle. They also, also run Chat Hill services as well. The one today train that goes north of Chat Hill and south on an evening. They use 156 and 158. And TPE run here to Edinburgh and south, they go to Newcastle and onwards to. Manchester and Liverpool. He has and here's the North and here's the 158 coming in. Perfect timing. Historical railways, the North British Railway and the Wandsbeck Railway. Used to go to Meldon, wherever that is. I'm not from, I don't know where Meldon is. Um, Blydentine and North Eastern Railway used to go to Hepscot, which is around that bend. Yeah. And North Eastern Railway and York, Newcastle Ferret Railway. That way it used to go to Pegswood, and that way it used to go, it still goes to Pegswood, and that way it used to go to Stanning. And I think that's all of the facts I've got for Morton. We also would like to point out, I'll go and sit back down. We would also like to point out that the cross country drivers must have some great times knowing that cross country runs the longest train service. From Aberdeen, it's all the way one. north, which is currently behind us, all the way to Penzance, which is at the very bottom of the country. I searched it, you know. It leaves Aberdeen at about 6 in the morning, or 8 in the morning, I can't remember, and gets to Penzance at 21.35, which is quite the journey. It's about to leave, so I'm going to go and film it now. Trains out of the way. It's I'm gonna go and put this in the bin, and I'll be back for dessert time. So, what are we having for dessert today? Well, so funny story about this morning. Uh, Ethan bought his straight away. Mine took a bit longer than expected because. Oh look! Oh, there is a spoon in. I was I was a bit worried. I couldn't I couldn't see a spoon. Look at that. Oats and chocolate. It's very nice. This, so, is the, this is the messy bit. So, as I was saying, I had to rush around and couldn't really think of any from dessert. Until you walk into Sainsbury's. Welcome to the pack of five custard donuts from Sainsbury's, Yippee! which are the best thing ever existed on earth. Now, Ethan, what did you see when I asked, have you ever had one of these? I said... One. Uh, I, you said, do I like custard donuts? And I said, I might like them. Or something along them lines. This is going to said you, you said you had one. I said I might have had one once. But I can't exactly remember. Stick that in the bin. Is that yoghurt just normal yoghurt? That is just plain yoghurt, yes. But then you put the oats in it, and I it tastes amazing. I bet the yoghurt pot tastes horrible. It does by itself. Then you, does like, not, like does I said, it not, does it not have any flavour whatsoever? Nah. Used to have these when I went to Tanfield. Look at the sugar on that. It's just oh. leaning like so. Oh. The sun is very bright today. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Oh. So I've not really got any more facts to share. Unless I was going to say unless you used to have some. I need to remember that. That sounds like a sixty-eight again. Oh my god, it's the Jarrah Tanks my lord! <laughs> so, for okay. the people that don't get it... Um, they just really need to go on the video. For the people that don't get it, there's a bit of a meme up here in the North East Rail community. Uh, and it's the, the tank, the, the tankers that go to the Jarrah Prax. Um, and they're, they're called the Jarrah Tanks because one guy 
If you know, you know. One guy. That's what Jarrah tanks means. So, so, the fun fact that I have <coughs> is number one freight of trains are sat. Is the one f interesting fact that I've got is is that when a high speed train passes splash, through here, splash, splash, sorry, like L N E R <laughs> or something like that, the they will sort of because the way Morbus designed this is that the Cross the points are like kind of in the station, um, and basically, what happens is is that you get the odd chance that one of the trains makes sort of musical noise when going over the track. You probably heard it earlier when the LNER train passed through, but it's the only really fun fact I can give you. Where's my Capri Sun gone? Mm. Michael does have a Capri Sun. I have a Capri Sun. Capri Suns are nice. Yeah, the yogurt tastes right for that reason. They've put less chocolate in this. That's why there was more chocolate in this. Starting to develop a sweet tooth here. Mm -hmm. I like the chocolate. I do as well. We had Kinder on the way up here. Mm -hmm. I've still got Kinder in my bag. Now, poor God, you don't know what he's missing out on, man. I know. The God asked if he... The guard said he enjoyed my picnic, which was Kinder and milk on the, on the train to Morpeth. I am a big milk drinker. That's probably worded wrong. And Michael said, do you want one? And the guard said, no, I'm all right. You don't know what he's missing out on, man. If we ever do, if Ethan ever does a video on top tier chocolate lists, mm. I will dislike the video straight away if Kinder is not in the S tier. Right, I'll put I'll put it in here. Thank you. Monster. I was very worried about what was gonna come out of his mouth then. <laughs> so yeah, we um the Officially Christmas. I don't have the watch on anymore. But we yes. gonna say no it's the seventeenth of November. Which it isn't. It isn't, it's the twenty fourth of December. 8 p.m. specifically. That'll be about 8.30 now. It's gonna be one I can one. hear another announcement, I don't know what it's saying. Sorry, no, I, I, I couldn't, I'm hallucinating. Ow! Are you gonna check me? <laughs> you have said that my train is delayed. What, on the way back? Yeah, apparently it's delayed again. Um. And funny enough, more only has two platforms, platform one and platform two. So I don't know why the app's telling me that my train will depart from platform one. Has a train ever departed platform two going towards Newcastle? Who knows at this point? Fessy, no. But the. But the LNER app is not the smartest when it comes to telling you information. Do you know what? No, I'm gonna wait till I finish this, then we'll take it. So I stop recording, and I'm eating me yogurt. Are you gonna throw me yogurt away? <laughs> that is horrible. You threw me yogurt away, I'm gonna have to eat the woods dry now. That was horrible. <laughs> but knowing my luck, I have now spilt the yogurt down my throat. That was horrible. The, um, yeah, it was. So, uh, Joking. I love the yogurt. Whoa, hello, what you got? Uh, so, we're gonna go and see the 436 now. Yes. I was gonna say 434, but that's the other one. That's the Eureva one, it doesn't stop here. Stand clear from the edge. Oh, there's another train coming through. <coughs> what? I'm joking on oats. I don't. Try not to. Try not to. I do, I do. 
I do, I do try not to. I do try not to. Um, so, status cancelled. The next train that's arriving in from Carlisle is ca Oh. Might that be ours? <laughs> I hope not. We do hope not. We do hope not. My sunglasses aren't on. And that's because this is we've, a... We've had a lot of disruption. Ow, 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 ow. We've had a lot of disruption recently due to... The first one was when we went to Edinburgh. Oh yes, Lo the lovely, lovely real replacement coach. Three hours there and back. It was horrible. Was the, the, one, first the one back was nice though. I like the one. It was the first time we would have ever done a L &E or diversion. Um, oh yes, it was by a car light, wasn't it? And it got cancelled. Because, um, so that someone got hit by a train, which our train got caught up in. Which but that was like the day before. Which meant that it, I know, but it meant that it couldn't get to Edinburgh. Which meant that it then couldn't get back to Newcastle on its next service, which meant that it couldn't get back into Heat and Depot, which meant that it couldn't start the service at Newcastle the next morning. So, we ended up on the railway. So, 11.36. It's pretty much on Sheffield's part of the North Eastern Railway, you know. Maybe our northern train was true. So, we're waiting on the 4.36, if it turns up. And I've just noticed that the station building is called Benjamin Green House. Benjamin Green built Morpeth Railway Station. That's your fact for the day. That is your fact for the day. Well, there were many facts. Uh, but, but I just, I find that quite interesting. The other thing about Morpeth that we forgot to mention is that Morpeth Station has three car parks. Car park one is behind Ethan. Oh. Car park one is over there. Car park two is also behind Ethan. We also want to know that the registered um, from the edge of platform. Ah. I was going to say we're not going to give out the reg plate and then the camera decided, no, we are. So, uh, stop it. I may need to buy a tighter tripod because my camera keeps spinning round. Uh, there is a train coming through platform one at some point. Um, I'd like to get a video of it. There you go. Turn the camera on. I'll let it do itself. <laughs> the metro it. doesn't serve Morpeth. We wish it did. Yet. Well, yet. I say, I say yet, right? But when I mean that, I mean it'll get funded, it'll get cancelled, it'll get funded, it'll get cancelled, it'll get funded, it'll get cancelled. So, uh, we've got about. Stop moving! We've got about five minutes till we're train. So, we're gonna go and uh, go and see the tank that's in the siding. I don't think we'll have enough time for the quiz, unfortunately, but. I don't know, you can make your own or something. I'll put it at the end. I'll put it... Oh, I don't know. I'll think of something. I'll think of something. We also want to point out, I've just seen this before, there are new Metro scarves out. Is there? Yeah, someone's just posted it today. Metro scarf of the new train. They must be getting all the new Metro train merch in them because... Um, and they are £25 from what I've seen. Although, we do want to admit we saw a Metro plushie. Metro They've definitely got to sell that. If they don't sell that, I'll be very upset. I will pay nigh on two to three hundred quid for that thing. <laughs> I will as well. Right, let's go and see this tamper then. So, that's it, isn't it? That is it. We've seen the tamper. We've done the sandwiches. We've done the facts. We've done everything. That marks the end, already, of Sandwiches and Stations 2023. If you're excited for 2024, which you shouldn't be this early, <laughs> uh, drop a comment. But there we go, that's it. Mortworth. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Morpeth done. Have a very, very Merry Christmas. From and me and Ethan. And a Happy New Year. And we will see you in the new year. Yes. Yeah, I'll probably not do any more videos between now and the new year. Um, so. Yeah, have a very merry Christmas, very merry Christmas, a happy new year, and I will see you later.
through. Good morning. Hello again. Merry Christmas. This is Sam. It's the what? 17th of November. No, it's not. It's the 24th of December. It just gone 8 p.m. Is that the time this is going to be uploaded? Possibly. <laughs> Welcome to Sandwiches. It still looks really high. <laughs> Wait, I can cut this. I can cut it. I can cut it. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. Welcome to Sandwiches and Stations 2023. Um, behind us isn't a station. Um, because I want to keep it a, a massive secret until um, for as long as I can. So we're gonna um, wait until these people pass, and then I'm gonna show you what station it is. <laughs> me, me arms just like fully engulfed in here. That's what I love about it. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> right. This hole needs to be cut out. Welcome to Sandwiches and Stations 2023. As you can see behind us. There's no station. There's obviously some station stuff around. <laughs> Hi YouTube. Welcome to Sandwiches and Stations 2023. I'm um, back again. <laughs> Wait, did I stop recording? Oh no, I didn't. Okay. Right. It's only been a minute and a half since I started recording. Welcome to Sandwiches and Stations 2023. I'm back. As you can see, there's no station behind us because I wanted to keep it a secret for as long as I can. So, <laughs> right. Try again. <laughs> and breathe out. What's all that? I don't know. The bag's gonna fall off. Look. It's not just a clip. Right, okay. Welcome to Sandwiches and Stations 2023. I'm back. Again. <laughs> 